Well, it's really helpful to, to know what butterflies there are and where they are flying because the butterflies are a very good indicator of the quality of the environment. How well is that environment being managed for the wildlife? And so by finding out what's going on all around the country, we can get a picture of, of how well wildlife is doing, how well we are doing as a community in terms of managing for wildlife. Here I've got a screen with the different types of butterfly that I can, uh, I can identify. So I just identify, I've got one of those, two of those, scroll down, a few of those, however many you see. Very simple, and if you want identification guides, you can go and find that. Click next, it's at the right date, if you can change it if you need to. Then click next again, and then submit that, and then you've got another um, count that's been made. Well, that data will help us understand what butterflies are flying and where they're flying and when they're flying and how many there are. So because this has been a very warm spring and early summer, a lot of butterflies have emerged early. So are they still flying later in the season or have they already finished? With the climate change we're seeing, are butterflies starting to spread further, in, no, further north? That information also valuable. Are we seeing more than we did last year or fewer than last year? All the information we can't get by our own monitoring alone. This is really helpful to us. The longer term trends show um, that three quarters of our butterfly species have declined in, in distribution and about 47% um, have declined in both distribution and number um, or, or one or both of those measures. So things aren't looking very rosy out there, and, um, but there is plenty that we can do with this data. We can influence government policy. Butterflies are used as indicators by the government um, so we can you know, really get a handle on what's going on out there and reverse the declines in butterflies. Um, what we really, the, the only way we can conserve species is to know where they are. So all these sort of sightings lets us know where these species are and where conservation measures um, need to be introduced. I think in general lockdown has helped many of our butterflies, um, particularly if you look at parks and gardens, road verges, there's been less cutting of the grass and, and, and the areas like that and so more plants have been able to grow and I think more butterflies have been able to thrive. Um, so I think probably for most of us we're likely to see more butterflies than we did in previous years. I think the air quality benefits that came along are also probably going to have some benefit as well.